For most of us, we've had a lot of fun building front-end apps with Vue and Nux and we've deployed it. It's been, it's been an absolute blast. But typically for most developers, there comes a point in their journey where they're thinking, hmm, maybe I should build a full stack app. But then when the dust clears and settles and you think a little bit more about it, you're like, well, well, if I want to build a full stack app, that means I need to learn backend technology. So then I need to pick a backend language, but okay, let's keep it simple. Let's keep JavaScript. So no JS, but I don't really have a lot of experience with nodes. So maybe that means I also need to take another course. But then, oh, there's also that thing with backend where if you're doing full stack, you need to have like a server so that it's running. You, know, you can't just have everything running in the browser. So does that mean I need to learn like AWS? And then shoot, now I need to learn about cloud architecture and something called serverless. Like, holy smokes, this is like, this is a lot of information. And your head is like, but what if I told you it didn't have to be so complicated? What if we were lucky enough that the next team thought this through and they were like, you know what? People are gonna be wanting to build full stack apps. And the reality is we can make it easier for them to do so by integrating it directly with the way they already develop their Nuxt applications. And that's what this course is all about. So this is your official welcome to the Nuxt 3 server course. And we'll be learning how to extend our abilities with front end skills into the back end using Nuxt 3. So what exactly is Nuxt 3 server? One of the big changes that have come with the Nuxt 3 ecosystem is the introduction of Nuxt Nitro, which is the back end engine that basically helps us to compile and do a lot of the magic when it comes to outputting not only our Nux build, even when we're just building the front end stuff, but it also enables us and empowers us with all these back end things that we'll be learning about in this course. Some of the benefits that we get by using Nux Nitro, which comes already configured with Nux 3, by the way, so no additional work needed on your end, is the fact that we get things like the development server, which you're already used to. So you get like hot module reloading and everything updates as correctly. But then you also get support for serverless functions right out of the box. And so as a result, you don't have to worry about things like vendor lock-in. And don't worry, we'll talk more about this later on in the course. And then you get automatic performance optimizations like code splitting, async loaded chunks, all this stuff that is automatically done for you so that your app runs as performant as possible and you can focus on what matters to you, which is just building the business logic. And so you might be wondering, why do we want to use Nux3 server? And the truth is, as a developer, in order to provide the best application experience for our users, it's important to have a diverse set of tools that allow us to accommodate different scenarios. The ability to pair your front end skills with Vue and Nux with back end capabilities means you actually get a chance to now pick and choose when certain things make sense to load on the client side versus when certain things make sense to do on the server side, which means you have the best loading experience for your users, depending on whatever it is they need. And that's how you get the fastest app for your users. With all that said, at the end of the day, the whole purpose of this course is to empower you with backend skills that extend your front end abilities so that you can build full stack apps with confidence with Nuts3. Let's jump right in. In this course, you'll be following along with a brand new Nuxt3 project that we'll be initializing using the new Nuxt CLI tool called Nuxy. Before we get started, make sure to have the latest LTS version of Node.js installed on your machine. At the time of this recording, that's version 18. You can verify this by going inside of your terminal and typing node-version. To initialize a brand new project, there's a couple ways to do this. The one that's recommended in the docs is to use something called npx which allow you to basically install something on your machine for a little bit, and then it'll uninstall it. So rather than install it forever, it'll just install it temporarily. And then we can basically use what? We're gonna use Nuxy at latest. This ensures that we grab the latest version of Nuxy, and then we'll initialize it by using the command init, and then whatever the project is gonna be called. So we're gonna call it Nux3 server. Well, that's what I'll do for mine. I'm gonna go ahead and use NPM, but feel free to use any other installer that you're comfortable with. And then if you want, go ahead and initialize the Git repository so we can track our changes. I'll certainly be doing that for mine. And now we can go inside of our Nuxt3 server app and then we'll go ahead and open it in VS Code. Now that we have our project open, let's go ahead and start it up to make sure everything is working as intended. So we'll go ahead and run npm run dev. And you'll see that it's ready at localhost 3000. So let's go ahead and switch on over to see what it looks like. Great, everything works as expected. Now. In order to make sure we have everything set up for the rest of this course, let's go back inside of our code base and set up some pages so that we're using page routing rather than just a single page app with app.view. The way we do this is let's start by turning off the server. And then I'm gonna create a new folder on the right-hand side here called pages. 
And then we'll start by setting up a page for index.view, which will be the home page. And then we'll go ahead and just initialize this with a template block because we don't need anything else right now. And I'll do an H1 that just says home page for Nuts 3 server course, just like that. Then one more thing before we start this back up is inside of our app.view, rather than rendering the Nuts welcome page, which is what we saw earlier, we're going to do the Nuts page built-in component, which will go ahead and render out whatever is expected on that particular route. So now let's start up our server once again. And then we go in here and refresh. There you go. We see our H1. It's working as intended. Fantastic. And now comes the moment of truth. We need to set up a server for our Nuts 3 app. Now your first thought might be, well, now I need to probably open some website, probably create a free account that then allows to give me some credits that then I need to go ahead and configure locally with my Nuts app and I probably need to add a credit card. Well, I'm happy to announce that with Nuts 3, working with the server really is as simple as having the server folder in your root directory. And so as you can see here, look at that. It already exists actually, it's been scaffolded. But in the event your app doesn't have it yet, it really is as simple as adding a server folder to that root directory and you're ready to go for the rest of this course. So let's review what we did this lesson. We scaffolded a brand new project using the new Nuts CLI tool Nutsy and inside of that, we went ahead and configured page routing to ensure that we actually had routing inside of our app. And then we went ahead and did the complicated or really not so complicated part of setting up a Nuts 3 server, which is basically making sure that you have a server directory inside of the root directory of your application. And just like that, you're ready to go on to the next lesson. As a reminder though, as we go through this course, in case you're ever lost or need to see the starting or ending code of a lesson, you can go ahead and check out our course resources to make sure you get the appropriate branch to make sure you can see how everything is working. With that, let's jump right into the next lesson.